this one. I will be making this one today. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. So, in today's video, that is not gonna be short, I will show you how to make a tulip flower. So this is a perfect spring flower to make and yeah, to just put it in a bouquet. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this tulip with one leaf. You can opt for two leaves if you want, but it's gonna be up to you. Now let me first tell you what you will need. Uh, as you can see here on the table, I have quite a lot of things but let's start of course you will need the scissors then you will need yarn I am using cotton yarn uh, this is for a three millimeter crochet hook I'm using it in red for the tulip bloom and in green for the stem and the leaf then of course a crochet hook Thread. Uh, you will see why you will need thread because with a thread I'm just uh, positioning and keeping in place the petals so I can then wrap them around and glue them at the end. Uh, wire. So I'm using a 0.3 millimeter wire. Uh, one in red of course and one in green. The red for the petals and the green for the leaf. The leaf one, uh, I think I cut it up at 50 or 45 centimeters and the ones for the petals for both sizes of them were cut out at 30 centimeters. Of course for that you will need some uh, pliers. So I have this one to cut the wire and this one to bend the, flower, the, the wire. Um, then I have these little buds that I put in the middle of the crocheted flower. Now if you don't have this you can definitely use some white beads that you kind of wrap around and use uh, to make the center of the flower. Then I'm using some flower wires. I think there are two different sizes in here but I think these are one millimeter, so a one millimeter wire. Um, yeah, my handy clippers because at the end I want to secure it or when I'm holding in the middle of something, that's it. Uh, did I say I needed glue? Mm, just a tap of glue for the bottom, not to poke the wire out and some hot glue to secure the petals to the inner petals because I want them nice and closed. Hmm, I think I said everything. Oh, one more thing. So in this tutorial I will show you how to make the outer petal, how to make the inner petal, just one, and the leaf and how to wrap those things around and how to uh, assemble them. Now once you will see the tutorial for the smaller petal, stop, take a pause and make two more because you need three of the smaller petals and three of the larger petals. I already kind of pre-cooked a bit and I already did uh, two of each before the tutorial. So yeah, you can now just enjoy and see how it's gonna be made. Now the patterns for the petals are gonna be probably up here in the top left corner. Um, I might add a diagram as well. And yeah, that's it. Uh, let's start with crocheting this spring tulip. Okay, so let's begin now with the smaller, smaller of the petals for the tulip. I'm gonna start with the slip knot. If you don't know how to do that, I grab the end tail, I wrap it around my thumb, I hold it with my middle and my ring finger, I go with my crochet hook from the bottom in the middle and grab the working yarn. And then I pull it through and tighten it up. Now the pattern 
will be up here in the top left corner and also I think a few times you will also have a diagram on how it's gonna be done. So yeah, now I can start the pattern, the petal as well. And the pattern calls for chain of 10 plus 1. So I'm first gonna do chain of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And why the plus 1? The plus 1 is just because the next stitch is gonna be a single crochet and I want to go a level up. Now, the, the first row, let's call this row zero, the first row is gonna be done in the top loops and then a turn and then on the bottom loops. But for now, in the second stitch from the hook, I need to do a single crochet. In the next stitch, another single crochet now a half double crochet so that means yarn once around my crochet hook and then through all three loops now i need to do six double crochet stitch, uh, stitches so that's one two three top loops three four five and six Now you have only one last stitch left at the end and this is gonna be our turn and in this turn I need to do five double crochet stitches so let's do five double crochet stitches in that one last stitch so that's one two three four and five. Now you see the turn and now we have to repeat the second part in the reverse of course on the bottom. What I'm also gonna do is starting tail I'm gonna place it on top so I'm gonna work it in and I won't have to sew it in. Now six double crochets so that's one and I hope you can see but on the bottom row I am going through two loops because it kind of just makes a right part I hope you can see it so they're kind of it makes a perfect um, place to put in your crochet hook so that's two three, four, five, six, that was six double crochet stitches, now a half double crochet stitch in the next one, and two single crochet stitches. Now the last stitch, the last single crochet stitch, it can be a bit tricky to see where to put it in, but it is doable. Now this is the first row, all I have to do is join it with a slip stitch with the first single crochet of the round. Okay, that's almost half done. Now what I will do is I'm gonna grab the wire. I'm gonna place it on top of the stitches, on top of the row, and I'm gonna then work it in. 
it is a bit tricky to hold, but I believe in you, you can manage it. <laughs> now, the second row is just gonna be single crochet stitches, of course, with some increases um, and the end for the turning. Let's begin now. I already did a chain one, so that means I went up into the next row. And now I need to do 10 single crochet stitches. So that's a one, two, three, and you see the wire is on top of the stitches. So it lays on the previous row and I'm doing single crochet stitches on top. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I really do ten? Um, let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And you see this side is already secured with the wire. So I'm just gonna now bend it to go around the turn. And now I have to do three times increases. An increase is just two single crochet stitches in one. So that's one. That's the second pair and the third pair. And again, I am twisting the wire to go nicely on top of the stitches. And now what I have to do until the end is do 10 single crochet stitches. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You see the wire. Now I, what I have to do is join it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. I'm gonna do a chain of two and inside I'm also gonna put another half double crochet or you can put another two half double crochets or normal double crochet stitches just so you get a lip. Now this lip is gonna be really important, I mean not important, but it's gonna be so much easier when we're gonna be putting the flower together. Okay, so this is now the inner of the tulip petal series done. What I do is I just twist the wire at the back and because I already secured the starting tail, I can just simply cut it off. And there is my hot glue gun. <laughs> so, now I have three of the smaller pieces. And I need just one more of the bigger petal. And again, Beginning with the slip knot, making a slip knot, and this time I need to do 12 chains plus one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Remembering this stitch plus one. Now single crochet, one half double crochet, and then nine 
double crochet stitches so single crochet half double crochet stitch and now nine double crochet stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine now again one more stitch left at the end this is gonna be our turning point and in, inside here five half double crochet stitches so that's a one two three four and five and now on the other way back nine double crochet stitches one half double crochet stitch and one single crochet stitch and I hope you can see it but this is where I'm gonna punch in it kind of makes a nice hole the work itself already especially with this yarn because it is a bit thicker so I'm on two again starting tail I put on top of the um, work so I'm working it in as I go so that's two double crochet stitches three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the last two stitches, I'm just going to leave the starting tail a half double crochet stitch. And in the last one, a single crochet stitch. And I'm joining it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. Now that's the base of the bigger one done. And I'm gonna grab my, uh, my wire again, place it on top of my work do a chain one and now six single cl 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 single crochet stitches so that's one two three and four now because these leaves are a bit bigger I'm gonna be doing some single crochet stitches some half double crochet stitches and another single crochet stitches so I have four single crochet stitches that I've already done. Now it's time for six half double crochet stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, adjusting the wire because the wire needs to be on top of the stitch. Four, five, and six, now I need to do three single crochet stitches, so that's a one, two, and three. And now in the next three stitches I'm gonna do three increases so that just means 
two single crochet stitches in each of the next three stitches. So that's one increase, two, well the second one and the third one. Okay, again wire needs to be on top of the stitches and I need to do three single crochet stitches and now six half double crochet stitches yes I know it's a bit tricky with all this wire on top but you have I mean you don't have to I do it just so it just so that it uh, keeps the shape <laughs> so that's two half double crochet stitches that's three four five and six and now I need to do four more single crochet stitches so that's one two three and I think I missed a stitch somewhere but to be honest it doesn't matter because it still looks right um, if you were doing it by the pattern uh, you should have four stitches here I kind of missed some stitch somewhere but I don't worry it's fine uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up with a slip stitch chain of two and two double crochet stitches in the same stitch again this is just the lip and that means it's gonna be much easier to assemble cut the yarn pull it through and that's it of course I'm gonna just uh, twist the wire a bit at the end pull it stretch it and yeah as you can see it holds its shape and I can get rid of the starting tail okay now that I have these all the petals I think it's start it's time to start with the oh, my hot glue gun again with the leaf so I just grabbed my green 0.3 wire for the leaf I have some green yarn here to make the leaf and to be honest the size of the leaf is gonna be up to you you can make it as small as you want or as long as you want but for me I'm gonna again start with a slip knot and in that I'm just gonna be putting chains until the desired length so I'm on three four five six Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's a bit short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. I'm gonna do a thirty-five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Now there will be a bit more on the top but I think that's a good length for a leaf. So chain one and 
always start with the first four stitches single crochet stitches so that's one two three four and now just do half double crochet stitches all the way around don't forget in the last stitch where the turn is you do five half double crochet stitches inside so let's just do half double crochet stitches and as you guessed it afterwards after the, this first row it's gonna be a row of single crochet stitches all the way around the only exception is gonna be at the second increase of the uh, top of the leaf I am gonna do a picot just so to make it a bit pointy and the rest is single crochet stitches but I'm still on row number one so that means first four stitches were single crochet stitches and now I'm doing half double crochet stitches all the way around um, as you can see I'm also not counting them because perhaps you wanted longer leaves or shorter leaves and this is more of a recipe on how to make this tall uh, and slim leaf for a crochet tulip. And once the leaf it will be done, we come to the fun part, meaning to assemble everything, to use some glue, unfortunately, but the tulip does uh, hold its position more nicely if you use some glue. I'm still doing half double crochet stitches and I'm almost at the end. Here's a chain that I've pulled a bit too much, but I got so yeah, just doing half double crochet stitches. Now I'm at the end, you see one last stitch left, and I'm gonna do five half double crochet stitches in that one stitch just to make the turn so that's a one two three four five and now half double crochet stitches all the way to the last four stitches that there are gonna be single crochet stitches now you may be wondering why I'm doing almost the same pattern for the leaf as for the tulip petals to be honest I was playing around with different leaves and one of the variants was also that I put the wire in the middle but that was um, not the right choice because I thought that it didn't give as much support as if you put the wire after the first row so in between row 1 and one two, row 2 plus um, it was really hard to work with and also the wire was just on one side so yeah not good <laughs> that's why it's almost the same as the petals 
just a bit longer. Using half double crochet stitches all the way around. And in the next row, I'm going to be just using single crochet stitches and working the wire in. And I'm almost there. No, not really. <laughs> Now one of the questions I get asked is, can I do this without the wire? Hmm. Well, to be honest, you could, but you would have to soak all these things into some really mm, hard blocking solution. So it would kind of hold its shape, but once it would be there in shape, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to move it. So with this wire inside, you can then always move the leaves if you want and the petals. Now I think I'm here by the last four stitches, so I need to do one, two, three and four single crochet stitches and I'm joining it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet now the leaf and the wire again like I did before put it on top of the work and work it in. Chain one to begin a new row and now single crochet stitches all the way around. Now this wire is a bit longer so it does go around and around and but try just holding it out of your crochet line of visibility and hopefully you're gonna be able to work the wire on top of the working stitches. And another question I get is, does it have to be 0.3 millimeter wire? Hmm. Yes, uh, I would go as high perhaps as 0.4, but just have in mind that it is uh, gonna be a bit, uh, not harder to manipulate, but um, harder to hide. So I think this 0.3 millimeter is gives it just enough stability, but it's not shown in the work. But I would definitely not be using a one millimeter wire. So yeah, the thinner, the better. Uh, also try getting the wire in the same color as your yarn. For example, this yarn is a really bright green and the wire is dark green but it's still not gonna show um, a different thing would be if I would be using green yarn and red wire <laughs> uh, in the worst case uh, just use either silver or gold color because you don't you really have to pay attention if you want to see the wire in the work other than that i think it's fine okay i am here almost at the turn the turn is here i need to do let's say three more stitches 
and then I'm going to be doing the increases and in between the second increase I'm going to do a picot so that's the first increase two single crochet stitches in one now the second increase that's one single crochet I'm going to do a chain two a picot and another single crochet stitch in the same stitch and the third increase so two single crochet stitches in the same stitch and now I have to go down the other way as you can see here is a bit of a picot just a tiny pointy end of the leaf of the crocheted tulip I'm just doing single crochet stitches now because I'm not counting here uh, it is a very uh, forgiving pattern so you can do the leaves the sh as short or as long as you want just have in mind that uh, the first and the last stitches of the first row are single crochet stitches for the turn you do five double crochet stitches in the same stitch and for the turn of the edge you do uh, increases and in the middle of the middle increase you just make a picot now what would be a possibility as well is you can use perhaps two colors of green uh, for the leaf so you would have the inner part in one color and then the edge in the other color but I'm almost at the end here and now the next part <laughs> the next part is gonna be the uh, trying to improvise and put things together trying to hold it in place and hope nothing will move uh, yeah the fun 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 part okay I'm just gonna join it with a slip stitch make a chain one uh, leave just a tiny bit more of a tail and that's it now I'm gonna stretch it just to make it to get enough wire in and now I'm gonna twist the wire so it won't uh, come out okay so now I have the parts I have the leaf you can make two leaves if you want I have the outer petals and I have the inner petals and now it's gonna be time to put all those things together okay so I have now my stem wire here I know it says on the package it should be one millimeter but I think I combine them with two and let's say it's a one millimeter what I also have here is this little thingies I have no idea how they are called I think I bought them like 10 years ago and I still have uh, this much left so if you don't have this they do sell them in every craft store and um, online but if you don't have them then you can use some wire and then at the end of the wire you just put some white beads on and it's gonna work good as well so yeah um, this little thing is I put them in half and what I do at the end of the stem wire I make a little hook well at least I'm trying and just before I close this hook you see I put in 
this. Now you can also replace this, as I said, with some wire and some beads at the end. And now I need to close this. And I hate this part, to be honest. I'm gonna put this out of focus. If you're wondering how much I want to squeeze it, I want to squeeze it as much as possible because I don't want this part to move. And that's it. So that's now the middle part done. I'm gonna grab the three inner petals and I'm gonna grab some thread. Now the thread is, is it important? Yes, it is. For, my, for me it is, to be honest, because um, I'm gonna be wrapping the thread around uh, these petals. Oh. Here's one that I I still need to cut the starting tails off. And I still need to twist this one. Okay. So now you just have to kind of place the petals, three of them, around the middle part. And once you hold them, you take your uh, thread and just try going around a few times just so that you can hold it in position and then you can adjust of course i'm gonna do a few more rounds around and that's it now this is now the inner petals done. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the outer ones and I am gonna position them in between the, the two. So this one, the outer one, goes between the two inner ones. Hope you can see it. And now first I want to secure it a bit with some thread. Grabbing the next one, placing it between, you see, between the two And grabbing the third one again, placing it between the inner. So you kind of just uh, close the gap of the first row of petals. And I wrap it around a bit. Now there are two reasons. First is of course securing it and the second reason is it's gonna be a much nicer transition for the stem to make if it is 
a tiny bit more neater. So I try to make a knot now somehow and hope it will hold. It's not a knot. Well, even if you make it around few times, it should be enough and it should hold. Okay. Now that is almost done. The tulip. I am gonna show it at the end. Uh, when it's completely positioned but for now this will do what I need to do now is attach the leaf and make the stem nice so first uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a bit of this away I'm gonna grab the green yarn. I'm gonna put the starting tail facing down. Go all the way up with it. And then start wrapping around and going down. Now this is the reason why I was using the thread. You can see a really nice even transition. Uh, once you've done this, just remember, wrap around firmly and don't skip you can go back and forth as many times as you want just so it doesn't have any uh, red spots or white spots or something like that visible and that's it now you're wrapping around You see, I'm going back and forth because perhaps oh, I missed a spot there and I'm gonna be going back properly. So yeah, just check when you're doing this that you hide all the red, all the contrasting colors. I'm just gonna go once more up and down and this should be fine from all sides yes it is and again wrapping it around See, I don't like this and it's nothing wrong with it going back better to do it now when it's not completely uh, fixed you can still fix things on the way now these end uh, red things don't worry about them you're gonna Cut them away.
Now I'm just wrapping the yarn around the stem. And now to attach the leaf, about two centimeters before you want to attach the leaf. So I'm gonna just kind of measure it. Uh, I'm just gonna do a few more wraps. I'm pulling it down every now and then just to give it more. Okay, like two centimeters or one centimeter before you want the leaf to be. You just take the leaf, hug the inner wire and then start with wrapping around. And that's how your leaf is gonna be attached. And now the tricky part is to kind of make a nice transition from the leaf back to just the stem. Now this is my way of doing it, if you have uh, any better ideas, I'm always open for suggestions, uh, but yeah, this is my take on it. bit out of focus but I'm not doing much I'm just wrapping around yarn the stem and I know the stem looks a bit wonky now but that's the point of wire because you can then just uh, straighten it up I'm almost at the end here. Yeah, that's my rose, uh, not rose, uh, my tulip going around and making some strange noises. So yeah, I'm gonna, when I'm almost at the end, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna try to go as close as to the edge as possible and then back a few times. And then I'm gonna use my handy clippers <laughs> and put some glue at the end. So just a tiny bit of glue. 
and I just use my fingers to be honest to do that oh sorry so yeah I just spread the glue at the bottom so that the wire isn't poking out and now I need to rest it for like 30 seconds just so that the glue dries a bit and afterwards I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun to just uh, put the petals that's how I get rid of the glue uh, how I put the petals into the right shape okay so not now that the bottom of the crochet tulip is dry I can inspect it and as you can see it looks almost perfect why almost because I still want to attach or position correctly uh, the inner and the outer petals so as I said I want the outer petals to be at the center of the inner ones so I hope you can see it that's the outer and that's the two inner ones and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a drop of hot glue here and press it on oh, wish me luck now <laughs> so a bit of oops that was a bit too much now that's a bit of hot glue and position it in the middle okay the first one is actually the easiest one because you can move away the rest of the petals but the next ones are gonna be a bit harder again I'm taking the two inner ones and I'm gonna position the outer one just on the middle of them so I'm putting some hot glue on oh how I hate get this because I'm always afraid I will make I will ruin it <laughs> okay again in the middle the third one now the last one goes in the middle and I think I need to put the glue gun on the other side <laughs> again in the middle of the two that's it that is now the tulip done this is from the top from the side I'm gonna move this away so you can see it better and that's it um, that is my take on a crochet tulip I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any suggestions do let me know uh, because you know if you have the knowledge why not share it um, and I'm gonna say until the next time happy crafting